Welcome back. Well, encouraging anti-social and even violent behaviour, that's some of the criticisms people have about allowing kids to play video games. But our next guest says that gaming can in fact encourage children to set healthy, lifelong habits. Child psychologist Colette Smart joins us in the studio with all the details. Colette, thanks for coming in because I, I, I've always been flipping flopping on this, uh, flipping flopping on this approach because I'm a, a casual gamer in the past, yep. but I worry about gaming for my kids now. So why do you think we need to rewire how we approach gaming? So I'm a mum of three and uh, also as a psychologist I see this so much. There's this dilemma for parents, but I think some, somehow we've shoved gaming into the bad part of technology. Mm. Games are bad and we need to actually rethink how we approach games. Uh, there's so much research now, years of research now into gaming and, and re really what we see is uh, what we're starting to coin, there's a, an Aussie expert that's used the term digital nutrition. So we need to look at games in the same way that we look at nutritional labels for food. So you get, uh, you know, our kids will eat lollies or burgers or whatever sometimes and so some games just for fun or entertainment are okay but then it's looking at at some of the content in our games and looking for the veggies of our games. So games that affect thoughts, feelings and behaviours, which is what all games affect, but in positive ways. So really steering towards positive, what we're calling pro-social habits. So transferring off, uh, online uh, activities into real-time behaviours. So anything positive, anything that forms a good habit. So why have they been demonised, do you think? Is it because of the element of, of violence within some of them? Yeah, absolutely. So there's certainly a, an, an element of gaming that is extremely violent. Uh, and so your children aren't just learning one thing when they're playing a game. We cannot separate the social part of a game to the, from the skill of a game. Our children will be learning both at the same and, time. And you were saying, just curiously, before we came out of the ad break, is that those games, like if you're talking about the Grand Theft Autos and things yes. like that, they're not made for kids. No. They're no. made for 30-year-old games. And therein yes. lies the issue, children playing games that aren't age-appropriate. Yes, yes. So the average age of the, of the gamer is actually a 30-year-old man. Which is not uh, suitable for a 13-year-old. Yeah. So it's looking at, the, at, at apps and games that are, are appropriate for kids. So what are the latest technologies that are helping kids build healthy habits? So when I say healthy games, I don't just mean spelling. Uh, so we've got our spelling and our maths apps, which are fantastic. But there's a lot of games. There's some great research at the moment into games that actually help children with childhood asthmas, uh, right. children with terminal illnesses. So they actually teach them to manage their behaviours or, or their uh, treatment in a much more positive way. And so they follow a little character and children tend to cope better with their treatments. Mm. So there's even uh, a very recent app uh, and a game developed by, uh, well gamers are, are very clever, so when we have gamers like Philips, they've, uh, Philips has got Sonic Care for Kids, they've developed uh, a toothbrush that has an app that comes with the toothbrush, oh. it's connected by Bluetooth, and my little boy is a, actually using it at the moment, and he is reminding me twice a day to brush his teeth, uh, he follows a little character called Sparky on the game. Yep. And so what we're looking for is games that reward, all games reward, but we want rewarding positive pro-social behaviour. So anything that transfers, like teeth brushing, uh, into long-term habits off of the screen. Mm. That's what we need to be looking for. I've heard there's some great games actually for children with autism, which um, is, yeah. is, is making great ground. Yep, teaching them facial expressions, yeah. things that they can't really always powerful. read. Yeah. Just quickly, what are some tips for parents who are looking to introduce games into the home? What would you suggest? Uh, I think some of the, the best tips would be looking at things that allow children to create. So a blank piece of paper, or almost the idea of a blank piece of paper, creating, teaching language skills, language techniques, anything that's interactive. So your, uh, your child has to make decisions around the game, encouraging anything that goes from on screen to off screen and something that's pro-social, anything that encourages social behavior that leads into long-term habits off of the screen. Oh, that's some fascinating Healthy. stuff. Yeah, Thank you advice. so much for coming yeah. in. Thank Thanks, you. Colleague.